And Councillor Knack. Uh, thank you, Councillor Wright. And uh, again, I'll just start with a thanks to the mayor and uh, everyone within the mayor's team for uh, putting this together. We haven't done anything like this before, and I actually thought it was a really good process. Um, so thanks for, for trying something new and, and having that work. Uh, won't touch much on the reductions other than I think the reductions that, that have been identified are logical. Uh, they're a really good way of identifying um, the fact that we're in a tight budget, and uh, I think they were good, good things to highlight. A uh, few quick comments on some of the items in the omnibus. Uh, affordable housing investments, as everyone has already said, they're critical. I don't need to, I mean, talked about it for a decade. We got to do it. And I'll say the exact same thing about climate action. I mean, I, I don't need to repeat what has been talked about for at this meeting or at any meeting for the last number of years. We just have to do that work. We have no choice at this point. Um, really appreciate the investment in Chinatown. I think we heard a lot both in the public hearing and uh, really throughout the year about the need to truly commit to that to Chinatown and I think that's important. I uh, wanted to echo Councillor Rutherford's comments on 137th Avenue uh, and Hende around unlocking that economic potential. We do need to grow our tax base as well and that is one way to do it. Uh, it's not the only thing we need to do uh, for these areas but it's a, it's a good first step. So for me I, I really want to focus the rest of my comments um, on just the transportation element, which I mean, as we all know, are also climate uh, actions. Uh, Council Rutherford did a phenomenal job talking about the importance of the Metro line, but just you know, reinforcing that, it needs to happen. This isn't a, a south versus north, this is a both and. Every part of the city needs this. Uh, and we need to have a, a clear LRT spine to support everyone, have a BRT network that supplements that, and then good local bus routes and on demand to feed throughout the entire piece. Um, so just one general comment, and I know it's come up before, but worth, worth saying one more time. So I've gone through two four-year budget cycles. In the last two four-year budget cycles, we invested $2.4 billion in roads. This four-year budget cycle is $1.8 billion in roads. If we're doing our math, that is $4.2 billion in roads over a 12-year period. <laughs> that is more investment in roads per year than any other past council for decades gone. And in fact, part of the reason we did that is because previous councils weren't investing the necessary amount they needed to invest in roads to keep up the conditions. We actually had almost 20% of our roadway network in poor condition, of our arterial roadway network in poor condition. And in late 2014, council started to change direction on that. So I'm fully supportive of that. But I, I share that number to put it in the scope and scale of what we're talking about for these tiny little, now we're finally, finally taking somewhat seriously the need for other transportation options. Um, and, and so, you know, and I, I actually don't disagree with a, one of comment, a Councilor Principe's comments earlier. I don't necessarily think everyone in the ward, in the ward I represent, I don't think there's a majority of people that would actually support this level of investment. But we also have to make decisions as a council that recognizes that we have to provide safe transportation choice for everyone, no matter which way you choose. That's an important part of the work. And I think when we can share some of these numbers, and this goes to Councillor Hamilton's point, let's communicate these numbers about just how much we've invested in the other modes, so that when we talk about this, which sounds like a lot of money, $100 million, it's, it's a piddly amount <laughs> compared to what we've just spent over the last 12 years. Uh, and it's critical. So, uh, you know, for me, I don't look at that investment as, some, you know, that's not for me. Yes, I bike every day. I should have brought my helmet. I didn't realize we were doing our fashion choice today. Um, I bike today. And yeah, I, you know, don't build it for me. Although to be fair, I do want a safe way to get across the city because I bike across the city almost every day to every part of the city. And I would like to have a safe opportunity, but I actually want this more for all of those other people who have been sort of on the fence of having a choice. And so that's what I see this for, of providing that choice to so many others. This group, we're gonna keep biking every day because that's what we do. Let's do it for everyone else who wants to maybe have an alternative. The final piece on the transportation is the investment in the transit priority measures and the B1, B2. Uh, we made a commitment after we did the bus network redesign to start investing in transit, but we wanted to have that proper foundation in place. It is time to follow through on that commitment and actually invest in transit. 
uh, to, again, provide one more alternative, one more choice for people. So it is not one ver mode of transportation versus the other. It is about just giving people great, safe choices to move across the city. So I'll be supporting this. Thank you very much for the work you did on this. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Nett.